So if you're new to For Honor, this will be the only video you need to know how to parry. I've made a couple of videos on this topic before and on every video in the comments, I've gotten this question. This is the button you use to parry on Xbox, along with this button for PlayStation. I really don't know about PC, I'm sorry, I don't play For Honor on PC. If you do, I believe you're a very talented person, but this video isn't for you because I just don't play on PC, so I cannot be giving tips out for PC players, even though I play on PC, if that makes sense. So regardless whether you're parrying a light attack or a heavy attack, you're gonna be using either RT or R2 if you're on PlayStation. Now parrying is a little different for every character. If you like to parry and you rely more on parry, Parrying, or if you believe you're gonna rely more on parrying, you're not gonna really want to pick an assassin character because that's not their specialty. I'm not gonna say they can't parry attacks because they're completely capable. What I'm saying is you're gonna have a lot more potential to parry attacks with vanguards, heavies, and even hybrids. Assassins, they struggle a little bit with parrying attacks. I'm not saying they can't. It's completely possible. It's just a little more difficult. So if you're new, the main thing you're gonna want to do is go to options and go to advanced controls fight controls tuning and you're gonna go to the second from the bottom which is guard mode dead zone depending on how low this is as you can see it gets bigger as the numbers go up is how much of a dead zone you're gonna have in the center of your analog stick so this is only for your right analog stick for your guard mode and by default it's at 20 you're gonna to want to set this to at least one or two this will make it a lot easier to parry really fast attacks and even zero if you're playing a character that doesn't have full guard. If you're playing a character that has a full card, which is Warlord, Conqueror, and Aramusha, you're probably going to want to set this to about one or two. I would recommend two. After that, you're ready to parry attacks. So Orochi has pretty fast light attacks, but if you set your dead zone to zero or one or two, you will have the ability to parry these pretty easy. Now I will say it's going to take some practice if you haven't done this already and if you're not used to it of course it's going to take some practice but once you get it you're going to be able to parry pretty much anything and i know in this video i'm using a bot to demonstrate it is it is possible to parry at some attacks off of reaction and most people don't think it's possible but it really is it's a little bit harder with console now if you're really dialed in you will be able to parry orochi's initial light attacks so just to demonstrate a little more i'm going to take off the cooldown and he's going to just keep going completely random another really important tip is to use the option select and what the option select is instead of just pressing RT when you go to parry attacks or R2 if you're on PlayStation you're gonna press the zone attack so let's say you're going against an opponent that's throwing an unblockable attack at you this is when you're gonna to want to utilize the option select all option selecting is is pressing the zone button instead of just parrying when he's throwing an unblockable attack so let's say he throws an unblockable attack so we're gonna go and we're gonna quit this unblockable and I'm gonna press in this case I'm gonna press RT and RB at the same time to throw a zone attack at the exact moment I need to parry if he goes through with the attack it will result in a parry if he doesn't it still will allow me to get some damage in because I'm still throwing a zone attack so I actually option selected right there it's the perfect move to do if you don't know whether you're whether or not your opponent's gonna faint the attack or not also guys depending on what character you play if you parry a lot of attack in some cases you can get an overhead heavy attack in right after the parry so I'm gonna parry this Raider if he allows me to parry him so I can get an overhead heavy in with Warmonger. Not all characters is like this. So typically when you have a character that has a really big weapon, usually it's too slow to actually get an overhead heavy in. I believe in Raider's case, I believe you have to get a side heavy in. I'm pretty sure you can't get an overhead heavy off of a light parry. Before I end this video guys, I want to remind you the way you parry, the button you press to parry is RT. Or R2 if you're on PlayStation. I want to say it again because I got a lot of comments in my last video on this topic about that. But that's going to be it for the video, guys. I hope this video helped you guys out. And if it did, make sure you drop a like to let me know it helped you out. And if you really enjoyed this video, maybe even try subscribing. I got loads of For Honor content and plenty more coming soon. My name is Zenith. Like always, I'll see you guys at the top.